Hey everyone, we are going to be doing a winter DIY challenge. Everything we make will be under $10 and I will be joining these awesome ladies right here. Casey from Coffee with My Sunshine, Kristen from Kristen K, Dana from Decorating with Dana, Courtney from Creative on the Cheap, Yami from Latina Next Door, and Lisa from Lisa and & Company. And I am Kat from According to Kat. I am so excited to be joining them. They are wonderful creators. They are awesome DIYers. Their channels are so fun, and I cannot wait to see what they come up with. So when you are done with my video, please go check out the description box below. I will have the playlist listed in there, and you can watch all of their creations and see what everyone came up with. So we have used Dollar Tree products, thrift store products, products we've recycled that we've had at home, anything to keep our costs under $10. So I hope you like everything you see that we did. If you are new here visiting from one of their channels, welcome and I hope you stick around. I hope you consider subscribing. I would love for you to join my channel. All right, let's get into this. Hi, welcome back to my channel, According to Cat. If you're new here, please introduce yourself in the comments below. If you're returning, just say hi. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. And give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And what are we gonna be making today? Okay, so we're gonna be making these two DIYs. Both of them are under $10. They are a winter theme. They could be considered Christmas as well, but they would definitely carry over into the winter. So the first one is this evergreen tree with the peace word on canvas. And the second one is this candle. And if you wanna learn how to make both of these, make sure you stay tuned. If you'd like to know what supplies I've used, please check out the description box below. And with all that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so here we go. DIY number one. This is our evergreen peace tree decor. So I took these large popsicle sticks. Actually, they're the jumbo popsicle sticks. You get those from um, Walmart. I got those from Walmart and they were fairly inexpensive for a whole bag of them. But you will only be using one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So I made a mistake here. I cut one in half. You would need more than just a half. So do four whole ones by cutting off just the rounded edge and do two, three quarters of one. Um, so you'll see in a little bit how I, I made a mistake. It wasn't, they weren't long enough, those two smaller pieces. Okay, so I took whatever was in the cap. So I shook up my truffle paint from Waverly chalk paint and I shook it up. Whatever was inside of that cap, I added some water to it and I got a really light stain. I wanted it to be like that. I wanted a really uh, light look to it. So this worked out perfectly. There's my truffle. All right, so I brushed that on. And now I'm getting ready for the next part. 12 foot non-lit Rochester garland. I got this from Walmart. It's about $9, a little less than $9 actually. 12 feet of it. Now that's Dollar Tree greenery. Look at that. Or you can get this beautiful pine, long needle pine um, greenery. It's beautiful. I absolutely love this greenery and you will get so much of it. It turns out to be a better deal. That is an 11 by 14 canvas that I got from Dollar Tree. And right now I'm just cutting off some pieces of that, the pine greenery. And I think I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little pieces of it. Here's my dowel. You can get those at the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just giving it a nice coat of watered down truffle Waverly chalk paint. And I like using Waverly chalk paint watered down instead of stain because it dries faster. So that's just what I found. All right. So now I'm just taking out off the outer coating of that canvas and getting putting it to the side. So I'm taking my dowel and I will put the hot glue on. I picked the piece to put at the top that kind of resembles the top of a Christmas tree. So I carefully picked which one I wanted at the top. The rest, it really doesn't matter, but that top piece, I wanted it to be really nice. So I used one at the top. Next row, I used two, but then I went back and used a third because I thought it needed a little something in there. So even though I don't show it here, I did add a third to that second row. And at the bottom row, I added three. So I'm basically laying it on because I want to see how long I will, um, oh, actually I'm not, I lie. All right, so what I'm doing here is adding on some more greenery. These are my last two pieces. I'm putting one on one side at the bottom and one on the other side. 
And then I'm just going to like fluff that up and make sure it just has an evergreen shape. And do you see that middle section? You could see it was kind of sparse. So I did add another little pick to that. Now I am making sure they're on really good. Oh, these are dog clipper for their nails. And they cut dowel rods perfectly because they're rounded. You get them at the Dollar Tree, a dollar. Like you can't beat that. So make sure you find them. It took me a really long time to find them. I think I went to like five Dollar Trees, but I finally found them. So if you can find those dog clippers, definitely get them. All right, so right now I'm trimming some of that greenery that is sticking out. Here I'm using my, um, yeah, why do I not remember words? And then I, like, you guys watch this and probably think, what's wrong with her? Um, what are those called? They're not pliers. I know you're all yelling at, at the screen right now. <laughs> what are they called? Oh, wire cutters. They're wire cutters. Okay, so I take my wire cutters, cut off any little pieces at the top. Now I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint in white, and I'm giving it a quick coating. Um, I'm not, like, saturating those needles, but I am quickly coating over them just to give it that snow-covered look or that flocked look. So now I'm laying out my um, jumbo popsicle sticks, and I'm trying to see how I need to go around to make it all fit. This is where I realized um, those small pieces weren't working, so I had to cut bigger pieces. So I had to use two more. So you will need six in all. I thought I was going to get away with five. It wasn't working. But popsicle sticks, these are so easy to cut through with a scissor. And if they're a little long, once you glue it on, I just used my sandpaper and it filed right down. So again, I'm using that same watered down truffle Waverly chalk paint. And I got the same look. I did the same exact thing. I shook it. Whatever was in that cap, I had a little water to, and it worked out perfectly. I am now just marking my center of my 11 by 14 canvas so that I get my tree pretty centered. So I'm basically making one line down, and I will take that dowel and lay it right there, and that will center my tree. So I put it right in the middle, and I made sure that when I cut off the dowel, I had enough room on the bottom and top to put the frame. Okay, so I love the way this looks. Again, I love those long needles of the pine needles. I think they're so pretty. I just, I love that look. Okay, so here I am. What am I doing? Oh, I was measuring it. I'm, I don't know why though. Okay, so I am lining it all up and I'm trying to see where I'm going to put everything before I glue down. And I feel confident enough to start hot gluing. And I only used hot glue. I didn't use anything else for this part. And I went right around and put the whole frame on. And it's amazing how you can take popsicle sticks and a canvas from Dollar Tree and make it look so nice. So right here I'm using the sandpaper from Dollar Tree and I'm just sanding the little corners there just to make sure they are pretty much the same throughout. Okay, so I'm taking these letters from the Dollar Tree. They are um, metal and I first try believe but then I go with peace and I am going to glue these on. I end up putting it on the bottom. And I felt that I was, oh, and this is another thing. They have peace on earth. You could also just cut that and use the wooden piece and put it right there. But instead I used this metal piece and I tried hot glue. That didn't work. So I'll show you what I use in a minute. Right now I just took a piece of twine. I tied it in a loop and knotted it. And this is going to be my hanger and it worked out fine. So when I, I, I actually have it out right now and I don't have it hanging. I have it leaning against the wall on a table. But if I want to hang it, it's there for me for whenever I'm ready for it. I take whatever's on my brush of that Waverly chalk paint and truffle, but the watered down version, whatever's on that brush, I kind of run over it just to give it, I don't know, some striations. I don't know. You'll see it when we get closer up later, when I show you nice and close. So I'm using this super glue from the Dollar Tree. I tried hot glue. It did not stick. I don't know why, but I've used hot glue with these metal letters before, and they just, they don't, 
it doesn't work. So I use a little hot glue like spots here and there and with the E6000 it still didn't work so I went to the super glue which worked perfectly. Okay so I am burning my edges of my little ribbon. I got this at Joanne Fabric. It's just a little black and white checked ribbon and I think it looks so cute. I put a little bow at the top and I love it. DIY number two, candle centerpiece decor. Now both of these are gonna be under $10 together. So here we go. This is a candle stick from the Dollar Tree and it's really easy to use. You just screw off the top, put in two AA batteries and it's ready to go. So I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint in mineral and I'm painting the base of it because it was really too shiny brass for me. I'm taking that same mineral and I am putting it on a burner cover from the Dollar Tree and just giving it one good coat. I will leave those to dry overnight. I will come in tomorrow and, oh, yeah. I will come in tomorrow and I will give it a good second coat because I don't know why, tell me if you see this, but Dollar Tree mineral, I mean Dollar Tree, Waverly chalk paint in mineral seems to be a little lighter in consistency than the other chalk paints. I don't know if it's just me, but I usually have to do a couple coats. I put a little hot glue down. I'm moving that around just to get it all over. And I found that's a great way to smooth the hot glue out and get it to stick really well. Oh, this is um, my ticking ribbon from Hobby Lobby which I love this ribbon. I'm almost out of it and I'm going to have to get more. I put one piece around like as the base of the ribbon and then I'll come in with the bow. I'll just make that separately and I'll glue that right on. All right. So this is that same ticking ribbon and I'm going to make a little bow, simple little bow, nothing extravagant. I will burn the edges so that they don't fray. And there we go. I will glue that right on and it is ready to go. So we are going to take some greenery and let's put that all over it. These picks, well, it's actually one humongous pick that I feel never ends. And I got it for like less than $3 at Joanne Fabrics when they had a sale. It was like 75% off their greenery. And it was such a good deal because it just never ends. And it had some little pine cones stuck on there too um, throughout. So I kind of picked the pieces that had less of the snow on it. And the, the pieces that had more flocking on them, I put on towards the end so you'll see them the best. So I just start off by just like kind of going around the candle area so that I get some height there and I just keep building on it, building on it, building on it. I knew I wanted five pine cones because I like to do things in odd numbers. So I either wanted three or five. So I picked five. Um, just taking my hot glue. I didn't use anything else. And I went around and just kept putting more greenery on until I was happy. But I wanted to put a lot of greenery on just because it looked really pretty on a, as a centerpiece on a table. You could put it out on a nightstand. You could use it as a nightlight. This is such a pretty winter DIY. You could put it in a window. I just love how it looks. Yeah, don't ask what I'm doing here. Like, I wanted to cover the bottom with... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Don't do this. So I wanted to cover the bottom with something. So I didn't want to use paper because right now you see me cutting paper. So I decided to use it as a template. I don't know why I left this in here. I'm sorry. So I decided to um, use burlap and I used that as a template and I cut burlap and I glued it to the bottom just so that you wouldn't see that. I know some people don't care and they don't care if the backs are like have writing on them. I'm really weird about it. I have a bit of an OCD problem that I want every part of it finished. So I didn't want to see that wording under there. So I take my adhesive spray, I spray it and I just lay on the burlap piece. 
yeah, you don't need to do this part. You could even just paint at the bottom. I don't know what I was doing. Sometimes we do things when we craft, and I know you know this, that we're just, I don't know. You're like, why did I do that? But you do it. Now I'm just trimming off the edges. So I was debating, do I want it sitting flat on the table or do I want to raise it? So I didn't want to spend any more money. So what I did was I took the center, right here it is, the center of a large ribbon spool. And I painted it with that Waverly chalk paint and mineral, the same color as the rest of the candle base. And I hot glued it right to the bottom. Hot glue worked perfectly. It, you can see it under there, but it doesn't stand out a lot. So it was the perfect fit and it was free. So there you go. So I took the Mod Podge spray and I gave it a good coating so that nothing would chip off. So this DIY is done. Okay. So let's see where we are. It is time for the final prices. Everything here for the evergreen tree will be a dollar. Canvas, greenery, jumbo popsicle sticks, the metal piece word, and the dowel. Even though you'll get more in the package, I just said it would be a dollar. The candle DIY, the candle greenery ribbon burner cover, all a dollar, and that ribbon center is free. So what is our final price for both of these? Our total was nine dollars. That's awesome, we were under 10. So we did it. The final reveal, my favorite part of the video, here we go. Okay, so here are our two DIYs. Both of these winter DIYs were under $10 and I love how they turned out. I think you could put them out for Christmas, but you definitely could leave them up throughout the winter season. This candle is really warm and inviting. I could see it in a window. I could see it as a centerpiece. I could see it in a living room, and I think it offers a really nice warm glow. This pine tree, I absolutely love. I love how it turned out. I love those long needles. Both of these are just really fresh and, I don't know, crisp looking in my opinion. And I just, I love the way they look. I love that little ribbon at the top. And is it ma it's amazing how you can take a Dollar Tree canvas and add some popsicle sticks and it can make it look like a framed piece of art. So that's pretty cool. If I had to pick my favorite, I'm gonna go for that green evergreen pine tree whatever that is i love it i think it looks really cool and i will definitely be using this every year which one is your favorite tell me in the comments below and don't forget to go down to that description box and click on that playlist go check out if these ladies were able to create winter diys under ten dollars so that's it. That's the end of my video. I hope you liked everything you saw here today, and I hope it inspires you to make something of your own. If you have not checked me out on Instagram, please do so at Cat Luna Designs. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, welcome back to my. If you're returning, just say hi. If you're not. Hey, you making fun of me, child? If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, I would invite you to do so. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I'd like to say that.